Hello guys, Creepy on here, and this is um, a place we went the other night, the other day, and tried to catch some fish, a coffee mill boat ramp, it's a little campground out in the Cato National Forest, and we were setting about right in there, um, in this area here, it was really, really cold, and the wind was blowing something fierce. So let's take a look around. So I started off by spawning out some uh, pack bait. As you can see, the wind is really up. And it was really cold. in there. Catfish. Catfish on the little rod. This was about two cold hours later and we were sitting up in the car getting warm and uh, wouldn't you know it you get a strike. No. Crap. I'm gonna start filming. That was that big f***ing minner. I know what you're thinking. Dang! I had it knocked in the lead. Yeah, we were sitting up there talking about getting ready to go. It's too windy and cold, and uh, that made us, well, we decided to stay a little longer. Well, I didn't catch that catfish, but uh, I thought I would bait up, try it again. So, we put back out, and as you can see right there on the bank, the, the wind just got worse and worse as time went on. And the, the weather or the temperature just was dropping. You can tell by the way I'm dressed there. It just got cold and it was really cold. And then um, we decided we'd get out the stove, get us a hot drink, some hot dogs. And uh, that stove I'm using is a Bass Pro Shop stove. Uh, I recommend a Coleman. The stove did all right, um, but the table that comes with it or that you buy for it was very spindly and rickety and uh, there's just nowhere to put your gas so we had to move over a bucket and a stack of wood to set the gas can on um, so I just don't recommend that that setup there but we were able to get us some hot food and hot drink which is always good on a day like that you know the the carp rods they didn't do uh, very well at all I just, I don't, it's, I haven't caught any carp since winter's really set in. Um, but the catfish, I guess they're still moving. I had caught a couple the previous day. But when I had, we were sitting in the car, I had ran the heat and then I would turn it off and put on the radio. And over time, I guess that killed my battery in the car uh, because... When we decided to uh, leave, the uh, 
the battery was dead on the car and we're way out in the middle of the national forest there and luckily we have a um little jumper set that auxiliary jumper set and it was and it boosted the car right off and we were on our way but uh it makes you think when you're when you're burning battery power well i appreciate you watching if you stuck around and uh Maybe next time we'll have some fish that we'll be able to show. So until then, man, keep fishing.